Real Korea 5 episode 12 Seoul. I love Seoul. Let's go. Seoul, the capital city of Korea, is the most popular city amongst travelers who visit Korea. Let me show you all the different colors of Seoul. It's history, present day, nature, people, and newly rising must visit places. Seoul, here we come. Follow me. Let's go. Real Korea 5, history. One of the first places that tourists tend to visit are the Joseon Dynasty Palaces with a 500-year history. There are the five royal palaces including Changdeokgung, Changgyeonggung, Beoksogung, Gyeonggi-gung, and Gyeongbokgung. The most visited palace is Gyeongbokgung, which is the main palace of the Joseon Dynasty. But I also highly recommend Changdeokgung because it is where you can be immersed in Korea's unique beauty the most. You'll be fascinated by the secret garden that sits in harmony with the surrounding nature. Maybe that's why it became the location for the movie Kingdom. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you go check it out. Your experience in palaces can be amplified if you're wearing hanbok. Plus, they offer free admission to foreigners who actually visit the palaces wearing hanboks. And don't forget to take lots of photos there and get your pick of the day surrounded with the beauty of Korea. Real Korea 4, Modern Times. Wow, it is so pretty, guys. Wow. You can see the tall buildings of the modern city beyond the eaves of the old palace. There are three major business districts in Seoul, Gwangamun, Gangnam, and Yeoido. And if you guys look out in the back, you guys probably have to come a little closer. You can see the beautiful night view of Seoul. Make sure to come and follow me. Let's go. Look at all these beautiful lights on, guys. So beautiful. Don't miss out on the beautiful night view of Seoul, the city that never sleeps. Beautiful. Real Korea 3, nature. Ba -bam. Hangang is the most distinctive feature of Seoul. The river runs across the center of the city and has 22 large bridges. Each bridge is different, offering different views. To name a few, we have the Bompo Bridge, we have the Chamzu Bridge, and we have the Hangang Bridge. You don't have to travel far to hike up a mountain as there are lots of high and low mountains in Seoul such as Mount Imlang, Mount Tobong, and Mount Kwanak. Seoul also has many nice parks across the city which are great for picnics in the spring and fall. Let's go hiking. Real Korea 2, Market. Mmm, and then go shopping after. You can get a glimpse into the daily lives of Koreans if you visit a traditional market. At Gwangjang Market, you can enjoy different kinds of foods, aka market food. Gwangjang Market is famous for its UK beef tartare, Nokdu Bindetok, Mung Bean pancakes, and guess what this is? Sabegi, deep fried twisted bread, and Nude Kimbap, an inside out kimbap. If you guys are seafood lovers, Norangjin Fish Market is the place for you. You can find a variety of seafoods of the season there. We can't forget the fashion hubs, Namdeun Market and Dundeun Market. If you like vintage clothing, visit Dundeun Market where there are many thrift stores. Cheap vintage clothing are piled up high on the streets. Did you know that it's particularly notable that a few famous foreign designers made a new fashion collection that was actually inspired by the old clothes of elderly men in Dundeun Market? That's crazy, guys. Make sure to go check it out. I gotta buy some clothes too. Maybe I'll go check out the markets later. Real Korea 1, places you must visit. Have you guys heard of Hipjiro? It is a combination of Hip and Ichiro, a neighborhood in Seoul. In the 80s, Ichiro used to be a busy industrial area with rows of printing houses and precision cutting offices. As the industrial structure changed with time, it has become an old neighborhood that is no longer busy or crowded. Today, it has become very popular among the younger generations. It's like an adventure trying to locate a restaurant that is not on the map, nor has a sign with just a few posts on social media. Bulledong also used to be dominated by iron workshops, but recently, artists such as painters, sculptors, and illustrators started to flock to the area, 
transforming the neighborhood into a place where masters and artists coexist. There are many other neighborhoods that are hot and each is different and attractive in its own unique way, such as Hongjudong, a neighborhood of masters of handmade shoes, and the quiet Yeonnamdong next to the crowded streets of Hongdae. Make sure to go check these places out, guys. You guys can get coffee from hot cafes and, you know, learn about all the new trends. One episode does not give us enough time to show you guys everything that Seoul has to offer. I still have so much more stories of places to tell you about, but our time is up for today, unfortunately. Seoul is where history and the present day coexist. It is a city where nature and the people live in harmony. Where in Seoul would you like to visit the most? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys next time. Kurom, annyeong! Yeah.